This is Mr. Tutorials for Dummies, and today I will be teaching you how to make the zebra bracelet. For this bracelet, you will need 27 exterior bands. I will be using pink. You will also need 12 middle bands. I will be using orange. You will need three groups of different colors of 13 bands of each and 28 bands. You can divide that up into 14 and use two different colors if you like. This is my band organizer. I keep all my bands in this. I've separated my bands during about the colors. So pink and red, purple and black, brown, all the greens and all the blues, gray, all the reds and all the oranges and all the yellows, and this again. And did I forget to mention that we will be needing a C-clip for this bracelet, like all bracelets. Alright, let's begin. You're going to start by placing your exterior bands. As I said earlier, I will be using bright pink. You're going to start by taking a band from this pin to this side. You're going to do that all the way up the loom until you reach this pin. I will fast forward from here. All right. Now we have come to this pin. Instead of going from here to this pin, we'll be going from this pin to the middle, as we did in the beginning. Now you're going to go all the way down your loom again and start from this pin. You're going to do the same thing you did on the other side, but this time it'll be on this side. All right, instead of going from here to here, we again put one from here to here. Now we're going to go back down our loom again. You're going to place 12 B-colored bands up the middle of your loom. This is for the middle part of your rubber bands. Sometimes you can use the exterior color, but I like to use different colors. I will fast forward from here. Now, you're going to put one from here to here. From now on, we're going to start laying our zebra crosses. So, I'll be just taking a few of my rubber bands. You're going to start by taking a green or your C colored band from there to there. Then your next color from here to here. And it's like you're going to make triangles, but you're not going to stop the triangles. So you can alternate colors or you can just use one color. I'm going to alternate because it looks like a real zebra on the end if we do that. And I will fast forward from here. Okay, now we're just going to end it by putting from here to here. Let's go down our loom again. 
We're going to start from this bin and start putting our next band colors. I'll be taking an E-colored band from here to here and do that. Now again, I'm going to take my D-colored band and make not closed triangles. You're going to do this upper loom and I will fast forward from here. The layers on this is very important, so if you ever mess up, you have to just remember to push down your bands and do it as you go. And again, as we did last time, we're just going to close this triangle and connect it to the last one. Okay, now we have placed all the bands except for the cap band. We're going to turn around your loom to this position so now that the arrows are pointing toward us. You're going to take your exterior band color or you can take your middle. I'm going to take my exterior and you're going to twist it into a figure A. Put it on yourself and just loop it like that on the pin. Now we're going to start the looping of the bands. You're going to start by pulling back this band and the, uh, the zebra bands. You're just going to take your middle band. You're just going to do a straight line of the middle bands. So you're just going to pull back all your bands until you see the orange. Pull that up and bring it on top of itself. I will fast forward from here. Now that we have reached the end of our loom, we're just going to loop it there and we're going to go all the way down our loom. We're going to now loop the exterior band. After looping it, we will be done with the bracelet. You're again going to pull back your cap band and your zebra bands and take the first um, exterior band you have there and mine is on this side so I'm going to loop it right on top of itself. Now you're going to do that again and you might want to hold back that cap band and now what you're going to do is you're going to just loop the exterior, which is normal. Pull it down and take it up. You're just going to do that all the way up your loop. I will fast forward from here. Now that we are here, what we're going to do is we're again going to pull back our zebra bands and take this one to this middle pin. You're going to go down your loom again to this pin. You're going to start off by taking it and you're going to pull back all your bands except for the last pink band and just loop that up. You're going to take your cap bands back. I'm sorry, your zebra bands. Just loop your exterior bands. I will, you just do this up your loom, and I will fast forward from here. And again, as we did on that side, you're just going to pull back your zebra bands, take this band, and 
put it again. <laughs> All right, we have finished our bracelet. Now we're going to do step three. You're going to turn your loom around and take another exterior band or middle band color. I will use my middle band color, which is orange. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hook, you're going to go right through in, and you're going to channel out. Take your rubber band, put it down, and sometimes you have to do this again and again. There we go. So now that we've done this, and then you're just going to loop that like this on itself. And now we are ready to tear off your bracelet. You're just going to pull it off like this. Sometimes you can pull it off from the other side and do it from this side, but I think it's easier to just do it from this side for me. And you don't want to go too fast because you can tear your bands off and that's just bad. So now you have your bracelet. If there are any bands sticking out, we can fix that. This is the final result of the bracelet, but we are not done yet. What we're going to do now is we're going to extend the bracelet. Since I used orange here, I'll be using orange. You're going to set this aside. And you're going to place, sorry, you're going to first take your loom and do that. And take it to the air that's pointing away from you. And you're going to place six orange rubber bands or pink, it doesn't really matter, up the loom. You'll find your correct size once you keep making them. I use five, so I'm going to use five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. For our cap band, we won't be using a real cap band. We'll be just taking this, put a two finger space, take that, and just put it on like that. You're going to turn your loom around again. Now the arrow is pointing to where I do, and you're just going to loop this single chain of bands. Okay, now get your C-clip ready, and just take that band and pull it right there so that you can attach your C-clip. And now you're going to pull that off, and find a cap band, mine's right here, put your two fingers in there, and put that in. Now we have our zebra bracelet, and this is my own design. I would say this is an intermediate leveled bracelet.